It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, what do we have? We have Uncle Nearest. Uncle Nearest 1856. Now, the name of the show is It's Bourbon Night. But this isn't bourbon. This isn't bourbon. This is Tennessee whiskey. This marks a first. Brace yourselves here, folks. <laughs> We're getting a little loosey-goosey here. Right? I mean, we've but been into some rye. Yeah, we've been into some American rye. We're loosening the reins a little bit. I don't think anyone We're minds. branching out a little. <laughs> I, don't yeah. think, I don't think anyone minds. Uh, now, let us say this was sent to us by the distillery in order to be uh, reviewed. Uh, although we appreciate that, we are not letting that uh, flavor our review. <laughs> um, you know, disclaimer. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. So we read a uh, article from mm -hmm. the Whiskey Wash about yeah, this. We didn't really know too much about it. So to go back to some more true heritage, you know, there's the stories that have existed in these distilleries for a long time. A lot of those things are hard to track because of the lack of records. Pause for cork pop. Ooh. Nice pop. Yeah. Nice pop. Um, so this is actually going back to a bit more of the true history. A young man learning to distill whiskey and who was his mentor. Um, now we're talking about Jack Daniel, are right. we not? Yes, we are. Of the Jack Daniels That's family. correct. A young man at one time. Yes. Um, and, and who he actually learned to distill from. Um, so Uncle Nearest was actually the true figure in his life who mentored him, previously thought to be someone else. Yeah, so actually a, a slave. Right. Yeah, so this is, you know, the, the, the said that, like, kind of quoting from the article, they penned a new narrative a little while ago that actually it was this uh, preacher's slave that he owned. Yeah. Who actually taught young Jack um, distilling. Right. So this is kind of coming out in honor of him. Now this is Tennessee whiskey and they're right now they're partnering with one or two Tennessee mm -hmm. distillers. That's right. To make this using all in-state uh, ingredients it seems like. So so this is kind of, you know, in in tribute of uh, of that. So this is small batch, handmade in Tennessee, maple charcoal filtered. Mm -hmm. That's the Lynchburg um, uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Lincoln County, County process. <laughs> Lincoln like County process. Lynchburg, Tennessee, Lincoln County process where it drips through tightly packed maple charcoal for like two weeks. Mm. So let's see what we got going on here in the smell department. Really crisp. I get apple on this one. Yeah, I can't. But uh, like apple peel, not, I'm getting brown sugar apples. It's nice, it's still, it's like crisp and light, but it's still got those caramelized notes of the brown sugar that bring it more into what we're used to in our bourboning world, so. It's almost like a really sharp, faint nut. Or like a, some type of maybe apple crisp. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of getting. All right. Well, cheers. That's different. <clears throat> that is different. Ooh, I need another sip in a minute. What is that? The first flavor? one really threw me off. I've n never had anything like that before. Mm -mm. Oh, what is that flavor? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't. I can't literally on the literally tip of on your the tip tongue. of my tongue, but I can't put my finger on it right now. Ooh. It's like a caramel covered apple. With those nuts that they put on there that don't have a real pronounced nut flavor, it's just kind of that, you know, those, what are those little, I definitely get peel on the finish. I feel like everything in this whiskey is happening up front. Like, like if you've got an entire band together and we're like, all of you play something at the same time and everybody's crashing around and making noise and then you're like, stop. <laughs> and finish. And that would be it. Like, it's just like, crash, bang, boom. Flavors, crazy. Yeah, it's like, silence. it's whiplash. A little bit. Three. Three. Not my tempo. That's exactly right. If Try you haven't again. seen one, two, uh, mm. rushing. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie, you should watch it. It's uh, Whiplash. Yeah. Whiplash. No, I agree. It is all up front. It is. It's a pretty short finish. There's wood, but like new wood. There's smoke. There's apple. There's caramel. There's floral. But there is a nut quality to it. A slight. Un unlike. A You're nut. so obsessed with the nut quality. No, no, no. Unlike any other nut quality that I've had in a whiskey. Like, just a real... I'm not picking it up. Hmm. So I can't help you. It's like, yeah, like I said, all those flavors happen up front. Then it kind of goes silent, but you still feel the heat. It's really interesting. Like, I keep going back, like, what is that? What's happening? I know. I, I just... I, I'm almost kind of mad that I can't right? put my finger it's on what exactly it is. And that's what I mean. Like, there's so many things banging around, making noise in there, <laughs> yeah. that it's like, shh, 
But I'm trying to find the clarinet. <laughs> Shut up, everybody. <laughs> oboe? Oboe? They're all talking at the same time. You know what? It's a little bit of lemon. It's like some zest there with the peel. There is some zest in there. It's a, it's yeah. a zest with the peel. Mm. There is like a very charred note that hangs out on the back sides of your tongue for a long time. That's probably the only thing I'm not digging about this. Mm. It's like Okay, I get it on the front and sides of my tongue. The sides, yeah. Like a maple char. Yeah, a maple char. That's yeah, exactly what it is. Makes complete sense, right? But it's like right? uh. And then later it starts burning on the Let me show you on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you see here. Uh. Right here. <laughs> then like the finish is like the front to middle but never the back. Part yeah, of the like that's what I mean by it goes silent. Yeah. And then it just heats you up so you're like, "Wait, where did it go? Oh wait, it's back." <laughs> yeah. I think we should stick to bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> so made by hand, double distilled and aged in American oak barrels. Uh yeah, small batch again. Um now what I call it It's funky. What I call it smooth. Would you call it smooth? I would not call it smooth because I think when you call something smooth, it's like what's the word? It's just not disruptive. Mm -hmm. And this is disruptive. Mm -hmm. It's like wake up. Yeah. So I don't think it's smooth, but it's not not smooth. It's somewhere in the middle. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, it, even though it's right at a hundred. Uh, just because it's this is such like an outlier. Yeah, you want to put some water in it. I'm gonna put some water in it. Okay. But I drank all of mine, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> get some more. Yeah. I love to watch water disperse in bourbon. It's such a weird thing, like how you can see it. <clears throat> now we have to give this some time to kind of mingle and marry. So while we do that, we'll be right back, uh, and we're gonna thank our patrons. <laughs> So Patreon, patreon.com slash bourbonite is where you can become a patron, and this is our Patreon appreciation video. So the names that you see scrolling here are the people who help videos like this become possible, and it was because of patrons that we started doing live episodes. Right? I mean, without you guys, we would only be doing one episode a week instead of two episodes a week, and we wouldn't be able to answer all your questions. You'd still be waiting for a milestone Q&A. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but we do it every Sunday now, which yeah, is great. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's just so important that we thank our patrons and it just means the world to us. So thank you, even if you're giving a, a dollar to a hundred dollars, anywhere in between, we thank you so, so much. You, you, you make the dream work because of the teamwork. Yes, that's exactly right. Mm. We can't say thank you enough. <laughs> we, we cannot, but we just did. And we'll do it again. Thank yep. you. Thanks. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna give it some more time, but uh, Back to future Chad and Sarah. Yep, let's go meet them. Okay. Oh, uh, apparently we need more time. Um, <laughs> if you would like to become a patron. I think this is a good problem to have because there's all yeah. these patrons down here. If you would like to become a patron, visit patreon.com slash night and peruse our options for membership. I think that's long enough. It should be. Okay. Okay. Back to us. Back to us. The water has settled. We have settled. Uh, we have thanked our patrons. I've definitely settled. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, so now we're going to see what these seven drops of water have done to Uncle Nearest 1856. I really get the brown sugar more now on the nose. All right. All right. That's just bringing more of that flavor that I couldn't put my finger on out. Yeah. It's a. It's and a, it's bringing more of that char. Yeah. It's a crisp. It's a brittle. It's a. Like it's a nut, but uh, you know, ah, uh, it kind of killed the zest a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not so much that zest anymore. It's just more of the the barrel. The maple is still definitely there. I will say that it. Um, it I think the water helped spread out that where every, everyone was talking at once. What is it? Maple oatmeal. It's the oat with nuts, with, yeah. Mm. Banana nut oatmeal. So it's got the oats, it's kind of oaty. Explain to me more what banana nut oatmeal is. Oh. <laughs> well, I eat it every morning. You, he does, it's true. <laughs> I might be off on this one, but that's what I'm gonna I go with. I like, Final answer. I'm, I Final like answer. you working through it. Yeah. I like watching your gears turn, it's oh, funny. Man. 
Um, I think that this spread out, like where I said before, where like all the flavors were all talking at once and it was really hard to separate them. And it's like, shh, be quiet everybody. I'm just trying to navigate my way through this bourbon. I think the water helped spread them out a little. Mm -hmm. So it's like the volume got turned down just a little bit. I can still taste the flavors, but yeah. they're a little more spread out so I it, can actually process what are those. Now, I don't know if this is what you're meaning, but I also feel like it's spread out over my tongue. Yeah, that's what I mean, okay. too. Yeah. Like, both. It's, it's hitting all the places now. Yeah. With the water. Which is weird, because normally I wouldn't want it watered down. Yeah. I gotta say, I think this is one we're gonna have to revisit in like a month on the live episode. We'll do it on a, yeah, live. Because I really feel like so puzzling. I don't think that at the end of this episode I can say yes or no. And I feel like that's maybe one of the first times it's happened to me. Well, let's talk about price. Mm. Uh, this sells for around 55? 55 to 60. 55 to 60? Mm. Oh, I do get a burnt nut now that you talk about it. Don't punch me. <laughs> 55, 60 bucks. There's definitely ones that we would gravitate to first. Mm -hmm. But again, this is not our arena of expertise. Not usually. No. Uh, we don't really drink too much Lincoln County processed whiskey. Um, you, yeah, definitely not. So, you know, this might be something that needs to crawl on us, and that might be why we're so perplexed. <laughs> but we will definitely revisit this on a live episode and uh, you know when it's had like a month or so to yeah. open up i would say i'm gonna have to give it the try it at a bar first if i was plopping down the money you know i would i'd want to i'd want to try it because it is such a different profile than what it's another world it, yeah and we've had a lot of different bourbons i've never had anything like this before. yeah it's it's definitely different and it's interesting and i am intrigued by it but i want to spend more time with it so Me too. i can't you know give it just the thumbs up to go ahead and and recommend it but i would Definitely I'm say, not giving it a thumbs down. No, I'm not giving it a thumbs down either. I would definitely say try it at a bar. That's yes. where I think we have to land. We'll revisit it in a month when it opens up and, f you know, work on this bottle and f <laughs> further investigate. Sure. More more info is needed. Yeah, How about exactly. That? All right. Cool. Cannot make a decision at hope this that, time. Hope that doesn't Does feel not like a cop you. out. <laughs> yeah, hope that doesn't feel like a cop out, but we're just trying to be as honest as we can here. So, cool. Well. That'll do it for us. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like what we're bringing to the table, hit the like button. It helps out the <laughs> yeah to the, to the, the, the table. Yeah. Helps out the channel. Um, Sarah, we got a uh, Amazon influencer page. We do. It's Amazon.com/shop/itsbourbonnight. Mm -hmm. um, you can find all the stuff that we use on our flight fights. Um, most of the stuff we use on all of our regular shows, mm -hmm. and even some of the things that you don't see that can be helpful in your everyday life. You already heard about Patreon. Already heard about Patreon. Uh, so lastly, it's just you can follow us on the social medias at it's bourbon night and that'll do it yep so thanks sarah thanks chad okay until next time even though we just tried tennessee whiskey our catchphrase is drink more bourbon